Hello, this is Kevin Alpha Juliet 6 Echo Echo. And I just thought I'd put together a quick video to explain, hopefully explain about um, international radio beacons, you know, ham radio stuff. So I had I had built this little project. This is a um, this is software called Ham Clock. And it's running on a Raspberry Pi. Let me turn around. It's running on a Raspberry Pi 3 right now. And that's, I got a, a little case for it. It's a little five and a half inch screen. There's a little HDMI uh, connector right there. Runs on five volts. Gotta love that. And it's really cool. So it gives you, um, once you set it up, it gives you the UTC time. It gives you your, you put in your, your location, your longitude, latitude, gives you other things like uh, um, the vocab information here. This has to do with sun, you know, what the sun's doing, different things. So I noticed this over here. This is red and it says 14.1 and green is, let me see if I can focus it. Uh, 18, eh, it's not going to focus, 18.11, you get the picture, and didn't really pay attention to it, and then I saw all these little uh, triangles, and changing colors, you know, no, sorry, <laughs> doing this off the, on the fly, this was not planned, as you can tell, okay, so if you notice, like, this little triangle down here has a call sign on it. Right now it's green and this one's red. And when the 10 seconds up here, they all flip. Now this is blue and this is green. And if we wait 10 seconds, they'll change again. Okay, so this is where we're headed. This is the reason that I uh, decided to maybe put this video together. A lot of you already know this, some of you don't. I remember that there are beacons located around the world that transmit all the time. So if you go to this website, which is uh, November Charlie Delta X ray Foxtrot.org slash beacon, you'll see the same map as what's on the ham clock. What do you know? All these little icons, triangles on the ham clock are the same as these beacons. They are the beacons that are um, in use around the world. Okay, so what do we do with them? It says each, trans each beacon transmits once on each band every three minutes. Uh, okay, so it has to transmit, um, uh, let's say, let's say for example, this one will transmit on on 20 meters, and then this one will transmit on 20 meters, and then this one will transmit on 20 meters, and then this one will trans, and they all take turns because they're 10 seconds apart, and they're all synced to time so they don't step on each other. And by the time it gets around back, and it's not in order left to right, it, it jumps around, but for just for explanation, it goes through all these stations, and by the time it gets back around, they're saying it's three minutes till this guy goes on 40 meters again. 20 meters, excuse me. Okay. Transmission consists of the call sign of the beacon, sent at 22 words a minute, followed by four one-second dashes. Da, 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 da. The call sign and the first dash are sent at 100 watts. So the first, the call sign, and the first da, 100 watts. The remaining dashes, dash two, three, and four, are sent at 10 watts, 1 watt, and 100 milliwatts. So, call sign at 100 watts, first dash at 100, second dash at 10, third at 1, fourth at 100 milliwatts. Then it jumps to the next station. So, these beacons are, um, they're changing their transmit power as they do this process, and then they jump to the next so if they're on 20 meters, uh, where are we? In the green, 
Then they'll maybe jump to this and they'll do it when it's their turn on the next band. They'll do the same thing. Transmit their call sign at 100 watts. Then the first dash at 100, second dash at 10 watts, second, third dash at 1 watt, fourth dash at 10 mil, 100 milliwatts. Then they'll jump to this band when it's their turn. So that's why it takes three minutes for them to come around to get through back to back to one again. So that's what these are doing. So this guy's on, uh, I can't read it, it's too small through my phone, but you get the idea. He's on this frequency. And then after 10 seconds, he's on this frequency. And then after 10 seconds, he's on this frequency, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Somebody else is on a different frequency. Okay, so let's say I wanna hear these beacons and see how propagation is. Which one's, which one's uh, transmitting on what band at what uh, right now? Okay, so if I scroll down a little bit on this web page, sorry, I was up here, scroll down, it shows you. Right now on the 14.1 frequency is the New York station. On 18.11 is Venezuela. 21.150, and now it just changed. 14.1 is a different station. 18.1 is now New York. Um, I believe we're going to see these shift down by one. Yeah, there we go. New York's down there. Now California's on there. Okay, so we can watch this, but we can watch the clock because it's it's all synced in time. So it tells us right now Hawaii over here is on 20 meters. And it's going to change, but we just caught it. Now it's on 18.1. Okay, so we got that. Cool. So if we have a radio hooked up, we can hear, hey, can I hear the signal from Australia? Can I hear the single signal from New Zealand? Can I hear the signal from Spain? Can I hear the signal from Africa, Kenya, whatever? So the best way I can do that now, since I don't have a radio hooked up, is go to a web SDR, an internet-based SDR. This one happens to be the one in Utah. They have four SDRs there. This is the first one, and I've got it, I've got the sound muted right now, and we're going to watch this for a couple minutes. So I'm on 14.1, right here, mode CW, so I went down and I clicked uh, 20 meter CW, and I think I had to click down here to get it on CW, but anyways, you need to be in, you need to set your frequency here, 14.1 and go to CW because they're transmitting CW and let's take the sound off and hear what we get. So here's what we're going to get. So right now 14.1 is in Kenya. We don't hear anything. Let's see if we can do this. Right now Finland. Now remember, where we're listening is not where I'm at. We're listening on the SDR that's in Utah. The antenna and the receiver are in Utah. It's just streaming over the internet to me so I can hear it. I'm 700 miles away in California. Argentina, Peru. I was hearing signal before, so hopefully something will come up. Three, four. So we heard that station, California, in Utah. So California was just heard in Utah. There's Hawaii. Call sign. First, second, third, fourth. Could barely hear the fourth. So we heard the 100 watt. Now we're hearing New Zealand. Second, third, not the fourth. So there you go. So... 
cool way. Now you can change SDRs. We could go to another SDR somewhere else in the world because these things are all over the place. If you go to websdr.org, you can select an SDR that's anywhere in the world that's been set up and do the exact same thing. And then you can hear if it's propagating in that area of the world from one of these sites, if it's being heard over there. So this is really cool because this little guy runs on 5 volt. It's plugged into USB. It's just plugged into my Nook right here. Could take it portable, run it through your phone hotspot. And then you've got uh, your beacons that you can listen in here and, uh, and see what's going on in the world. And I think it's pretty cool. So I thought I'd share it. So hopefully that made sense. And uh, that's all I got for you. Enjoy the day. 7-3-AJ-6-E-E.